hear me so in I love a man All right, this is a copy of day two to four. I called it research. Put your name and period and date and also at the very top <coughs> by file and edit. I got Venn diagram videos, pros and cons, research, get data one, two, and three. So I wanted you to find two videos that would meet the following criteria. Each YouTube video is five minutes or less. <clears throat> One video is for global warming or pro global warming and that says that global warming is real. And then another video that is con or against global warming, I'm just basically saying it's fake. You're going to find that video and hyperlink it. Here's the directions to hyperlink. You can use um, right click and then press link. And in your two videos, uh, read the directions here, question, and then you're basically filling this out as you watch your two videos. Then the pros and cons was listening to your partner. Um, they did paper, rock, scissors. I think I have directions on this one. They had paper, rock, scissors. Winner picks a side, either the pro or the con, and then shares two ideas from the Venn diagram. The loser had to get the leftover side and then share two ideas from the Venn diagram. And then after they were done, they got into groups of three or four and they gave two ideas for whatever they um, picked, either pro or con, and then they got two, and then they can use the sentence frame. My side was blank and two ideas were blank. Something to note from the previous slide, um, where both sides agree, that's where you had to use your critical thinking to see the intersection between the two of those. All right, based off of your uh, country, I wanted to get the population for your country, and we're doing this for every 10 years. So I created a chart. Here's my country, Azerbaijan. We went to Kaggle.com. Then we clicked on the top menu and clicked on data sets, typed in world population data set, looked for this one, click on the one created by this person over here, scroll down until you see the table of chart, on find where it says 17 columns and then change it to these restrictions, country, 1970, 1980, all up to 2020, and then copy your data. Right here, I'm on Kaggle.com, Kaggle, Kaggle, data sets. In my search, I'm gonna go ahead and type in uh, world population. And then there you have this one, go ahead and just click on it. And then you're going to scroll to the bottom until you see the chart. There's your chart. Where it says columns, I'm going to double click select all. So it's gonna select all and then deselect everything and I want the country and then the dates. Every 10 years up to 1970. And then you're gonna look for your country. Let's see if it works. I'm gonna press control or Apple or command F. and um, control F is basically find and it found it for me. And then these are the data, you can just literally copy and paste all the way across. Okay, then I press paste and then this is what I have here, this data here. And I just put it into this um, table here, Azerbaijan. Uh, we did in class, if you don't know how to pronounce your country, just go to YouTube and say pronounce your country, and then you can learn how to pronounce it. Okay, that's getting data number one. Getting data number two was the carbon monoxide emissions for every five years. All right, research get data number two is the CO2 or carbon monoxide emissions for every five years. Um, if you want to see something cool, you can just go there and check it out. 
that's what I liked, but not necessary. Number two, go here. It's a spreadsheet that I found that has the CO2 emissions and press Control F to find your country. Control F is just find. Then you're gonna type in your country. Um, you don't need that part. You're gonna copy and paste your data from your country here. And then it's gonna give you an option, paste or unlinked, do unlinked. And if your country does not have 30 years, please let me know. Uh, so I have the date here, and then I have the carbon monoxide. Number three, the world average temperatures. Uh, we're going to get every five years starting with 1950 to 2020. And here is a website. And then we're going to have to manually copy and paste the data. Okay, so here I'm on, on this website. You can go to your country by list. Mine's A and then mine's Azerbaijan. And then you're going to scroll down. Um, this one's close, monthly climatology of mean temperatures, but observed annual mean temperature from 1901 to 2021. If you, I will give you extra credit or something if you can figure out how to download it. I tried all these and it didn't work. So basically what you have to do is just look at this over here. And, oh that's cool, I didn't even know that. The max temperature, you can turn all these on, I didn't know that. Now I know. But anyways, what you're going to do is, um, I think I said start at 1950. If you want to do start at 1900, if your country has that, that's fine. But 1950, and then just copy down your data, 11.98 degrees Celsius. And do that for every five years, okay? So I did that here. If you don't have a table, you can do it. Um, press insert table. And then I'm just copying down that data that I had. Uh, in the next video, I'm gonna tell you guys how to process some of this data on Excel spreadsheets. So yeah. Missing formulas in life. Problems becoming too difficult to clear. Well then, you need Mr. Math Cleaning Solution. Just spray the liquid formula onto the mess, then wipe it clear, and enjoy the result. Mr. Math. Stay clean and calculated. Order now at www.cheapproductions.com and get an additional